Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mr. Jensen with EdTech Integration. Hey, I'm still on break, but making great content for you guys. Um, in today's video, we talk about a basic, simple way to create a gradebook within Google Sheets. Now, this could be a really, really powerful tool for those of you that are teaching at home, uh, maybe doing homeschoolers, or even teachers that are in the classroom. If you already have a gradebook system or software already, that's okay. This is, a, like I said, this is a really, really simple way for you cr to create a gradebook, to keep track of student stats, and then also to break things down individually and to print out individual reports. So let's check it out. All right, to start off here, guys, we're gonna start in our Google Drive. And if we go up to the top left here and go to New, and down to Google Sheets. Now, this is where we would open up a, a just a plain Google Sheets. If you go over to the arrow here, you'll say from template. Now, the nice thing here is, is that Google's made a bunch of templates for us, so whether that's personal, work, um, project management, etc. So you go down to education. We have a couple different options here. We click on gradebook, it will then start a template for our gradebook here. So this Template has three different tabs, the overview, grades, and individual reports. So we'll go through each one of these real quick. So over here, what we can do is we can change our grading scheme, our grading system here. So if we didn't recognize A pluses at the school we wanted, we could take this away and we'll change this. Okay, so you can change these values, you can take these values away. Over here, this is gonna give us an overview of how the students are doing. So let's look at the grades and then we'll come back to this tab here in a second. So in this here, this is where our grade book is gonna be stored. So instead of having student one, let's just make up a couple different names. Um, they live in Utah, let's spell it like that. Um, and let's say John and, um, yep. So over here, now we can start to add different assignments. So we have homework one, quiz, test one, let's call it discussion. Um, and let's call it homework two. Okay. Um, discussion was worth 100 points. Homework two was worth 10 points as well. Okay. So what it'll do here is, is that as we go through, we add scores for each person. It will automatically calculate these things for us. Okay. So let's just add these scores for these people. Eight, nine, and ten, and ten. Okay. So now we have some grades in the grade book what we can do now is we can so we can add as many as we want here and as many as we want down here okay so we can go to the individual reports now now we can come over here where it says student one and drop down let's see how andrew's doing so now we can pull up individual reports for each student we can print them out we can have individual conversations with each student as they come up okay so now we can see andrew has a B minus compared to the class average, which is a B plus. Okay, and you can see how he compares against each one of these assignments. And then the nice thing here is that it does give us a graph to kind of see visually where Andrew's at for each one of these things. Okay, so class average is here in that color, and then Andrew's here purple. If you go back over here to the overview, now we can see how students are doing overall on each one of these assignments. Okay, so this could be really valuable here um, just as a general overview. If you like this video, please think about subscribing and or pushing the like button. Um, it really helps me out um, and there will be future videos here every Tuesday on this channel.